Rex Tillerson is in South Korea for the first time since becoming America's top diplomat. During a hotly anticipated meeting with his South Korean counterpart, he made it clear that the new United States administration will not just wait for Pyongyang to give up its nukes. Connie Kim has our top story. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's visit to South Korea, his second stop of his first trip to Asia, was a highly anticipated one as it comes on the heels of North Korea's recent missile launches and potential additional nuclear tests and an ICBM test launch. Arriving at South Korea's Ulsan Air Base early Friday morning, Tillerson visited the heavily fortified demilitarized zone, and then he briefly met with Prime Minister and Acting President Hwang Kyo-an. Uh, 우리 한미 동맹과 그리고 연합 방위 태세에 관해서 양국 간의 이해와 협력의 의지를 다시 한번 다지는 계기가 되기를 바라고. Much attention was focused on the new approach to deal with North Korea, briefly mentioned by Secretary Tillerson in Japan on Thursday. Washington's message was clear. Let me be very clear. The policy of strategic patience has ended. We're exploring a new range of diplomatic, security, and economic measures. All options are on the table. By all options, Tillerson hinted of possible military action against North Korea, saying that the regime will be met with an appropriate response if Pyongyang takes actions that threatens South Korean forces or U.S. forces. What's also interesting to note is that the Trump administration will pressure China, North Korea's closest ally in exerting influence on Pyongyang, to give up its nuclear weapons program. Regarding Beijing's ongoing thought retaliation against South Korea for its U.S. missile defense system, Tillerson is also set to push China to alter its position. So we will be uh, discussing with China what we believe they should be doing to help mitigate this threat as well. As to their punitive actions against South Korea because of the agreement to install the THAAD system, as I indicated in my remarks, we believe these actions are uh, unnecessary and we believe they're troubling. South Korea's foreign ministry officials had said Tillerson's visit to China is timely, as Beijing had been imposing apparent economic sanctions for Seoul's sovereign decision. But until Tillerson meets Chinese President Xi Jinping and Foreign Minister Wang Yi on his last leg of his Asia trip, many will be on the lookout on how much Tillerson will discuss China's apparent retaliatory actions against South Korea for its that deployment decision. Connie Kim, Arirang News.